What's going on, everybody? Today I'll be talking about the movie Black Adam. Yeah, with Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. So, like I said, man, I've, I've just been so busy. This movie reveal was supposed to come out like a week ago, but I've been so busy with, you know, with work. Um, it was my birthday, my mom's birthday last week, so, you know, I was just too busy with that and trying to get other business stuff going and stuff. So, but now here we go. Like I said, I'm more of a uh, Marvel, you know, fan than a um, DC comic fan. But I got to say, you know, this was an okay movie. It was, it was pretty decent. But about, about time, man, The Rock playing in some serious roles. I get tired of him with these roles with Kevin Hart. <laughs> I, like, I like to see Rock in more serious roles than all these funny roles. Because to me, he's not really a funny guy at all anyway. This is my opinion. So I love to see him in these action roles and these uh, drama roles. I love it. So, like I said, this movie was okay. My expectations wasn't so high for this film, but I knew it would be pretty decent. Um, the storyline could have been, you know, a little bit better. And this movie was about, like, a, it was two hours and five minutes. So it was a pretty long movie, of course, for, you know, the superhero movies. But, like I said, the storyline could have been way better. But, you know, they tried. In ancient conduct, Teth Adam was bestowed the almighty powers of the gods. After using these powers for vengeance, he was in prison, becoming Black Adam. Nearly 5,000 years have passed, and Black Adam has gone from man to myth to legend. Now free, his unique form of justice, born out of rage, is challenged by modern-day heroes who form the Justice Society. Hawkman, Dr. Fate, Adam Smasher, and Cyclone. So just to sum it up, just to sum up the plot, um, basically this movie was about you know Black Adam and the villains trying to get this crown. This crown had a lot of power. So that was very that was executed very well in this film how they showed that. So it was basically after this crown that had all this power. And this director of this film, his name is um, Jama Collect Sarah. Um, he did a great job, you know, trying to you know get the direction of this film. The direction of the film was pretty decent, and um, the dialogue did a great job with the dialogue of this film. Now I'm about to talk about the starting cast of this film. Starting the starting cast, you already know it's Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. Yeah, I always been a fan of The Rock when I was a little kid when I was watching wrestling. Um, I think it was called WWF back then instead of WWE, but I always been a fan of his. Um, in this film, he se it seemed like he was very direct. He didn't even care. He was just kicking everybody tail in, in this movie. Very violent. <laughs> but yeah, The Rock, man, he did a great job with his acting in this one. Um, I like to see him, you know, playing these superhero roles and stuff. But he didn't care. He didn't really say much in this movie. He was just ready to go. He's like, look, I'm, I'm ready to attack anybody that come my way, really. But he did a great job, you know, with his role as playing Black Adam. And Aldis Hodge, he played uh, Hawkman. He did a great job. I like him in, um, when he was played in Straight Outta Compton. I like that movie. So he played in some um, serious roles in other movies, but he did a great job in this one. Um, so is uh, Sarah Shahi. Um, I guess she was like the modern day fighter in the, um, of Condock City. She was uh, an ally of Black Adam. You know, she's in the uh, Justice Society, so she did a, a great job too. And other actors, Noah Centineo. To me, he was the most irritating actor in this film. <laughs> I couldn't get it out. He, he was the most irritating person in this film. Um, he played um, Adam Smasher. He was, his jokes did not land to me. He was more of the funny, the funny type. He was trying to land all these jokes in the movie. I'm like... It didn't really land to me at all. I think I think they could have did without him. But, you know, as his part is, he's supposed to be this funny guy. But, hey, it is what it is, though. I don't think he did too well in this film. Then you had Quintessa Swindell. She played Cyclone. Then you had uh, Pierce um, Brosnan. She, he played uh, Dr. Uh, Fate. So, yeah, those two right there. I mean, especially um, Cyclone, they didn't really show her as much in this film. Like, they didn't show Adam Smasher either so much. So, like I said, they could have did, you know, without them. And what really irritated me in this film is that um, it seemed like the movie, the pace of the movie was moving so fast. That's why I said they didn't really execute this film very well. It seemed like they were just, it was just moving so fast, all the scenes. I mean, it could have showed more of a story about Black Adam. We wanted to see, you know, more of a story about his life and everything. And And this is just my opinion. I think... They didn't really need Hawkman and Cyclone and Adam Smasher and Doctor of Fate because it it took away the story of Black Adam. It was really a lot of people were more concentrated on the other characters instead of Black Adam. And this is a Black Adam movie, 
So it really took away from the Black Adam character. And I understand, you know, this is just a society. You want to have them in there. But to me, they should have focused more on, you know, Black Adam. And, and I guess part two, you know, have uh, have them in there in the next movie. But this one should have been focused on Black Adam only. And like I said, you know, like I said, the comedy and jokes didn't land to me at all. Um, the jokes was not funny to me. Um, it was just too, it's too much comedy in this film for it to be so much of an intense superhero movie to me i think this is more of an intense superhero movie for it to be any comedy in here at all because black adam he was tearing up some stuff he wasn't he wasn't no joke <laughs> that's what I, I that's why you know i kind of like this you know film a little bit but the direction of it you know it kind of went off course a little bit but i like it because it had a lot of action in this film thank you <laughs> it, it didn't drag so much like the other um superhero films but I got to say, it had a lot of CGI in here. Um, great special effects, of course. The cinematography was nice. Um, the shots, camera angles, and the dialogue was pretty nice for this film. So when you see this movie, I think everybody has seen this movie already anyway. But um, don't leave the movie theater um, when the credits come on. You know, the end, the end credits come on. Just wait because you got a little surprise at the end. Just letting y'all know that. So, of course, they probably might have a, uh, another Black Adam. <laughs> so yeah you know like I said I give this film a 7 out of 10 a solid 7 out of 10 like I said it could have been better with the direction of the film they could have you know spent more time on utilizing Black Adam a little bit better than you know having all these other Justice Society characters come in but this is a short movie review I didn't really have much to say about it will I see this movie again I mean I'm, I probably wouldn't it's nothing that is that special for me to go see again but you know it is what it is with that too and another thing too, I can't wait for this other film to come out. They got uh Creed. Was it Creed 3? My boy Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> can't wait, man. I'm a big boxing fan anyway. If you see my one, you know, some of my fitness videos and my bodybuilding videos, I have a lot of boxing in there too. So y'all check them out. I think some of them are it's called Don't Play with Brent Part 1 and Don't Play with Brent Part 2. <laughs> y'all check those out. I got another one coming soon with me bodybuilding and um doing some boxing. And my next movie reveal will be um, Wakanda Forever, Black Panther. So I can't wait for that to come out. So I'll be doing that. So, yep, this is a short movie reveal. And I hope y'all enjoyed this movie reveal. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Type some comments in the section. And, okay, I'll see y'all later. All right, now I'm out.